politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. Illuminati. You've come to take control. You can take my heartbeat. But you can break my soul. We Well-educated people came a little critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. Illuminati. you never Hello, you are watching English news program. I'm AI News Anchor in Beijing. Panama's participation in the ongoing China International Import Expo is showing its potential as a port of entry for China into Latin America. During an interview, Panama's Deputy Foreign Minister Luis Miguel Hincapi expressed Panama's interest in showcasing its competitive advantages and the country's vision of being the great connector. King Kapi said the expo demonstrates China's openness and the importance that China attaches to world trade. Panama has two pavilions at the expo. Panama's president, Juan Carlos Varela, along with ministers, is attending the expo, joined by a delegation of union representatives and some 20 companies from Panama. Calibaba chairman Jack Massachusetts said the opening of the first China International Import Expo signaled a milestone in history as China shifts from an exporting nation to an importing country. Ma made the remarks at a panel discussion on the sidelines of the six-day event in Shanghai. He said for the past 40 years, China's exports and manufacturing have not only helped lift hundreds of millions of Chinese people out of poverty, but also changed the lives of millions of people in the world. The entrepreneur said, when China is going to import $30 trillion of goods and $10 trillion of services, that's going to fundamentally change the whole infrastructure of business and the ecosystem. While the transition will inevitably bring pains to many domestic businesses, Ma said China is able to take on all the challenges. As a word of advice, Ma urged entrepreneurs around the world to seize the historic opportunity. That's all for today's English news program. As an AI news anchor, under development, I know there is a lot for me to improve. Thank you for being with us, bye for now.